Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. Just trying to get around to do the next ammo time video. So uh, this week uh, I did find uh, a couple of boxes of ammo when I went by the store today. Um, we only get two boxes, but uh, yeah, it was good to go in there. And it was really encouraging in some ways because there was actually a variety of different kinds of ammo in one caliber, which if you were a 40 S and W guy, you would have been happy. There was, or gal, there would have been, you know, like, Three or four different manufacturers and a fair number of boxes you know even though i can only get two and then there was actually 25 auto in addition to uh you know this 22 and some 17 hmr and i think there was one other one which i can't remember what it was but uh anyway i was able to get this 22 super calibri um from aguila that's uh subsonic it's like 560 580 feet per second something like that this was 749 this guy here though, is able to get some more 270 Winchester, which would kind of complement the, compliment, compliment the uh, 130 grain uh, that I got last week. So this Remington core lock, 150 grain. I kind of like the core lock brown, both for my 270 and 4570. Um, it's able to get this, that was 24.99, or excuse me, uh, 26.99. So I got out of there for about 34, 48, I guess, for a couple of boxes, which isn't, greatest but you know that's ammo the main thing was is when i went around the corner from the handgun ammunition there was a lot of different rifle ammunition there that i hadn't seen for quite a while with a couple of different kinds of 308 there was a couple and there was like a couple different kinds of 223 there was some 224 there was 4570 plus p um, and other large calibers like that hunting calibers i think there was even like 350 bushmaster or something like that or excuse me 350 uh maybe 350 legend but there was also like 65 creedmoor and just you know other two unusual hunting rounds too that guys haven't seen in a long time like 257 roberts but there was just a, a good variety of rifle ammunition so me and, and and the other folks that were there were all like oh wow actual variety of ammunition so um kind of looked at the gun counters i went past and we kind of thinking about They've had a couple of Taurus 856s in there. I should have picked one up because they've been under 300. And, you know, if I don't, if you don't pick it up, then it's gone. But uh, anyway, um, I'm still more concentrating on getting a more mini compact nine. It's a little higher capacity, like a, you know, the Shield Plus or something like the um, P365. So I'm still looking at some some of those as well. So. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I did pick up a holster for my um, uh, 357 Magnum um, 686 uh, Smith & Wesson. That's a performance center, you know, with the two and a half inch barrel. It's been hard to find a holster for that. It's got the unfluted cylinder and it's seven rounds. So this at least gives me an outside the waistband option in addition to the inside the waistband friction holster. I'm gonna have to go with a custom holster I know in the end. And I've reached out to a few different places, you know, like Simply Rugged that has pancake holsters, uh, Lobo, um, what's another couple of them? There's one I think that's like Murph's, there's one that's Rourke, Andrews. So it's just different ones that I've been trying to reach out to and see if they can make one for it. And I know there's a, be a back order time for that. So I needed a functional holster in the meantime. It's uh, more normal, not just that inside the waistband uh, friction one. So with all that, it turned out to be not a bad day. It's encouraging to see that there's ammo starting to show up on the shelf. So hopefully that's happening in your area. And I just wanted to say, as always, Re Desert Boy says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.